What's up, soldiers? <laughs> Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, about to head into the kitchen. Sitting here all day Thursday afternoon doing a killer load of work here, and then I realized, listen, we haven't filmed, or as we say in the Caribbean, we have flim the latest episode of um, Fish Fridays that I started last week. If you haven't seen the first episode, I would encourage you to do so. Now it's a wicked fish uh, stew with, with fresh cod. Today we're doing something with sea bass. You're going to like this one, man. All kind of nice flavors going in there. Very simple. And you can tailor it to your own liking as well. So we go in, in the kitchen now, turn on the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and start prepping the sea bass for this installment of Fish Fridays. Just wanted to quickly run through the ingredients. Typical Caribbean stuff, some ginger, scallion, a lemon, a couple of peppers, this, these are optional. Uh, some cherry tomatoes, we're gonna need some olive oil, some salt, black pepper. But this one here, especially I wanted to focus on a little bit. I got this on sale at the grocery store for a dollar and it's fennel. And there's a sort of a black licorice, sort of aniseed sort of flavor. I'm gonna slice this up and I'm gonna use it on the bottom of the roasting pan to give some, the fish some flavor from the outside. If you don't have this, no worries. Um, what I would recommend doing is getting some bell peppers or even slice up some onions and you'll be good to go. I have my baking dish here and I'm just going to drizzle on some olive oil on the bottom and this is where I'm going to go in with that sliced fennel just to create a sort of a bed for the fish that bass to sit on to roast off in the oven. Now these are going to go nice and sweet as well when they roast off in the oven. I'm just going to give it a little bit of salt just to help bring out some of that sweetness as well. And the star of the show, I've got my sea bass here. One of the things I forgot to do was give it a couple cuts. Not too deep. Nice and clean. If you don't know how to clean a fish, I would suggest you ask your, your fishmonger, I think it's a fishmonger it's called, to sort you out. Just gonna top that in a little bit more. I want it to sit relatively flat. And here's where we're gonna stuff the inside of it. First thing I'm gonna do is give him a good dose of salt, both on the outside and in the cavity here as well. Some black pepper. And I'm gonna crack some black pepper on the inside as well. Off camera, it's gonna be easy, easier than trying to to do both things. Next up, I'm going to use some of these, the julienne, the, the white parts of the, um, the scallion or green onion. And I've got here some julienne ginger. And I'm just going to go into the cavity of the fish with that. What I want to also do in there is put one of these um, bird's eye pepper in there. That's just optional. That's my little, I love a little heat as you guys would know. And I'm just going to go in with a couple of these cherry tomatoes in there as well. Just pack that in to complement the flavor. Since the fennel has a sort of a aniseed or a five spice sort of uh, flavor to it, I'm going to go in with a little bit of light soy sauce. And I've got here a couple slices of lemon just to tuck that in there as well just to add a little bit more flavor from the inside so underneath we've got the fennel inside we've got that ginger and that lemon and that soy sauce doing some niceness inside there on top now just gonna go in with some more of that scallion 
I'm going to put some more of that ginger on the top here. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put a couple slices of that lemon, tuck it in there. And the remaining tomatoes, I'm going to roast them off in the same pan here with the um, fennel and the green onions and stuff like that. All that's left back is going back in there. A bit more of that ginger into the oven, as I said, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, a couple things I forgot to mention before we go into the oven. I want a bit more salt. Now, keep in mind that soy sauce will give it a bit of salt flavor as well. A bit more black pepper. And we're going to drizzle on some more of that olive oil. So there you go friends, it took about 25 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I turned on the broil setting for 5 minutes to sort of char the tomatoes and make them nice and sweet and to give it a slight little color on there. Um, my uh, oven, when I turn on the broil setting, it is about 525 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's hit you guys a little close up there. There we go, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, Fish Friday. Remember, we've got one more recipe in this series coming up on next Thursday. And um, yeah, do give it a try. Remember to hit that thumbs up. And as always, all the ingredients we use here today will be listed down in the description below. And the recipe itself will be posted on CaribbeanPod.com. Hurry up yourself, man.